Open the gate! Okay, sorry Joyce, really terribly sorry. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Oh, eggs and bacon. Oh, oh pancakes. Ah! <laughs> Did we have egg and bacon at a uh, diner? I don't remember. Keep it out. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. Oh my God. We wake up so <laughs> fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. <laughs> I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. And then we got the bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, the bacon. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Oh. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is, smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? <laughs> five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? Boom! <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. There he is. I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. So we have low-fat milk, we have peanut butter! I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. <laughs> Good, you can clean. Look in oh, the paper. Man. I don't want to be famous for this. The independent flash snow will freak you puck eclipse. I was about to say apocalypse, but that was because later. Superheroine says suicidal Blackwell student. Yeah, I can understand. I guess. What? What happened with my plate? I want my plate. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Well, that's I'm because glad that's you don't. And not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Which is none. 
Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... And... Oh. That is horrible. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. And speaking about the devil. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. <laughs> now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Okay, so the thing is, you can search around everywhere. I suppose. Oh well, we can... Oh, okay, okay. No shit, it needs a password. <laughs> How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. And now we can search for everything. Sweet. Come on. There we go. So, we have the cupboard. Remember with the, the TV and shit? Nothing in it. And we will not leave any evidence. So you can go around and check for everything. Um, I don't remember that it will be too much information, except for here. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Let's see. It was an under having you under It was an under having you on the dinner. Nice to know the gentleman still exists. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. That might be a useful password. Today and what he ate. There we go. Family. Boom. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Because he is monitoring everyone. And here we go. Rachel has been kind of class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids the dormitory. Followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Ooh, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, okay, the case number blah. Incident Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at half three at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. Yeah, you can read more. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate followed the same path to every class. Over here, the Kate and Dana we talking about supplies for water club parties and drugs. Oh, he's a bloody hell paranoid. So water, no even crown, search, drugs, third yeah, Guilty. Uh -huh. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy. Bastard. And here's he got information about us. And that is personal tech. So I one better tell Chloe room. about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Hey. <sighs> 
Oh my god. Yeah. Things might have given shit about me and mom. It's alright, I know you're cute too. If you're going to the party, I'll let's study up. Ew, we got both of them. And Victoria's still so mad at us. Uh, okay, that's nice. I suppose. But yeah, we're all human. Some more assholes than others. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. Oh, personal you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh yeah. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? <sighs> okay, this is... I fucking hate this. Joyce deserves the truth. However, the consequences are horrible. But I would know the truth if I was in Joyce's shoes. I would. Mm. Bloody hell. <laughs> You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Ooh. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Um, well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. Ooh. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. Oh shit. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Oh. You should never tear apart families. Seriously. Max, don't beat yourself no. up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? <sighs> Come on. Well, he hasn't told us his side of the story. <sighs> it's horrible. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Shut the fuck up, Chloe. <laughs> 